In today's episode, we explore the abandoned showcase cinemas in Lawrence, Massachusetts. This 50,000 square foot movie theater was built in 1982. After closing permanently in 2016, the theater has sat abandoned for over seven years. While it has sat abandoned, the building was used for the comedy film Daddy's Home 2, starring Mark Wahlberg, Mel Gibson, John Lithgow, and Will Ferrell. Showcase Cinemas is currently being demolished this month in April 2023. We were lucky enough to document the entire theater before demolishment. Now join us for a final look into the abandoned showcase cinemas. This place is huge. This place is massive. Sucks how much decay there is in here. Nothing from scrappers looking for copper and stuff. So this place, I'm not sure when it closed it yet. Seven years ago. Seven years yeah, ago? Seven years ago. There we go. Yeah. So for starters, we're in the lobby. Look how massive this lobby is. That now. That was all up in glass. It's been smashed. <laughs> yeah. So the entire front of this place is completely boarded, as you can tell. Would have walked through these doors. Now, don't get confused with the power. This place is completely abandoned. But we do have <laughs> power in this place, which I happen to love. It gives such like a backrooms vibe to this place, especially being that it's a movie theater. But uh, yeah, so let's get started. Let's start looking at some things, see what's going on here. Now this is kind of weird, you know, like architecturally, like why is this like thing in the middle like that? Like what would have been right here? Maybe they would put up those displays. You yeah. Take with them, so oh yeah, true. Because it's just probably in the center. Yeah, because it's just an odd spot. Let's go see over here. Over here on the floor it says box office. So I guess what I mean, he would have gone into this room and got tickets. Because I guess over there is a concessions area. So this definitely must have been the ticket spot. Now all over this place you're going to see tons and tons of film. It is just all over the floor, stretched everywhere you can think of. So, is there anything left in this this little room? I like the red lights. I don't think so though. I just see like a monitor down there on the floor, and the box office sign. We got a poster still in here. So that's for like the fancy theater that had. Looks like they had these. If you look on here, these like. Fancy, fancy chairs, like the nice plush leathery ones. Yeah. Not sure if those are still around. Some of these movie theaters have seats, some don't. We'll get to that, of course, once we start going to them. Um, so maybe the special one was ripped out and the other ones are still here. So we'll see about that. But these would have held, of course, movie posters. And everything is either smashed or gone for other reasons. So this would have been the concession area. So you've got your buttery popcorn. Yeah. Expensive snacks that you can get from Dollar Tree for a dollar. <laughs> oh, at least the sign still exists. It's just it's down here. These lights are all flickering. I don't know how much the video is going to pick up because of the frame rate, but these are all flickering like crazy in real life. Now I think I got to hop over this. 
I'm going to set this down for a second because there is no doorway in. Well, there is a doorway in. It's just locked. It's just, yeah, you can't like get to it. I'm going to step in this popcorn thing. There is glass everywhere, so got to be careful. All right. Whew. All right, we are behind the concession stand. All right, in my feet, you got nachos, nacho cheese. They've been thrown around and destroyed. Even like the popcorn boxes, all these things. Everyone just went on a breaking spree and destroyed a lot of things in here. Receipts. I'll pop in here real quick. Let me turn my light on. All right, got my light on. So we can really see in this room. Now you hear just a lot of buzzing everywhere. It's like the speaker's on, but it's just like producing static. It's kind of throughout this place it's been like that. I don't know what this thing is. Commercial ice system. I guess that would have been a lot of ice it would make. This is probably like all the monitors for registers, things like that. Put in a pile. This is the door we weren't able to get through, so only on the inside. That'll make it easier for me leaving, which is nice. Got a safety idea suggestion. Let's hear it. Blah, 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 blah. Now I think over here we got like a toaster thing. Yeah, this is a toaster. Pizza oven. I stand corrected. It says pizza oven. That's pretty cool. Over here it says honey mustard is served. It's free with the salted pretzels. Now it looks like these are tanks of CO2. It says CO2 up here. Um, is this for soda machines? I'm assuming that's how you get carbonation. Not really sure if anybody knows what these are for. Let us know. They're not responsible for employees' personal belongings. And then over there it just looks like some other... Oh, wait, you know what? It says something about soda. Soda boxes. Okay, so I guess this would have fed into the fountain soda unit on the other side of the wall. Which I'm going to go make sure we go see right now. I'm going to leave this room. Turn off my light. Alright, so back to natural light. Here we got some popcorn butter over. This thing is, this place is so mess, messy and smashed up. So here's one of the soap machines. Wow. People are just ripping off anything, huh? Gold Peak. This is a cool view though, from here looking at the front, I like it. it. Looks like over here is the big popcorn machine and some more fountain soda. Everywhere you walk there's just something. So yeah, I'm assuming this is the popcorn maker with the handle and whatever, I mean, I don't know. I never worked at a movie theater, but I'm assuming it is. All right, so let me get 
out of this area. I don't want to go through the door and not have to jump over again. Okay. Got out without having to jump. I love the eeriness in here. It's really cool vibe. I guess we want to start looking in uh, some movie theaters. All right, where should we start? We just want to start the one over here. This theater is taken over by a homeless person. I guess they try to block off anyone who came in here by putting these you know, guard doors. Uh, I guess so. Let me turn on the light. Random junk. Thank you. And I think these are for holding trays and stuff like that. These blue things. Yeah. Ticket machine right here. I think so. Oh, yeah. Looks like one. Has been cut out. Yeah, some of them are cut up, some of them are fine. Depends on, I guess, which one. Maybe, yeah, this one, like you said, was definitely somebody was either staying here, partying here, whatever. Wow, yeah, you're right. Carry trays. So yeah, I was right about this thing. This thing's a tray holder. And there's a phone number on this table. Which is kind of weird. But somebody had some little Caesars. A lot of little Caesars. A lot of it. More boxes and earrings. It seems like... Having a party. Yeah, they're definitely like having a party here. Because you got a lot of garbage built up in here over time. It's a lot of pizza boxes. And they probably were using electricity to power their yeah. phones, whatever. This is too funny how they did this. They built a fort. They literally built a fort like we would have as kids, like... Huh. Couldn't have been too comfortable, but hey, if you're homeless, it works, right? So here's the screen. As you can tell, this one's basically completely 100% gone. You can see some piping in the back. But, uh, seats are in not too bad a condition. This one's got the little red lights on the floor going still. A lot of movie theaters got rid of these seats. They're so uncomfortable. Yeah, these old school type yeah. of ones. So, yeah, this, uh, 
typical walkway up. It's kind of weird because like there's this dream catcher hanging on the wall up here. It shows you how comfortable the person is. Oh, this person like, yeah. How comfortable he is, how she is while living there. Isn't that weird? Let me zoom in on Never seen a dream catcher just like yeah. chilling inside of a movie oh. theater. It's weird. Isn't it crazy how close these chairs like are to each other? And, like now the movie theaters are so spacious and yeah. comfortable. Now they have those those Black crazy hair. awesome seats Black like that other poster was showing. You see down here there's like all sorts of letters. I guess it would have been for like the sign. But somebody brought them in here and threw it around all over. Lucky sweatshirt. Yeah, so this is definitely a hangout or, and or a house, probably both. Pretty cool though. This one's got all the power on. Pretty. The red lights down the ramp is cool. Yeah, like I was gonna say, it's really nice looking in here, minus the little weird setup in the middle. Otherwise, it looks great. I mean, look how much dirt though. You know, in class is just. A twig. A whip stick. What the hell? <laughs> Somebody must have brought that in. All right, cool. Well, let's exit this theater and go take a look at the other ones, see what's going on, see if we have any more setups like this, but I think this is the only one with a homeless tent in it. I mean, it looks pretty comfy. You got a nice table here, you got an extension cord with power, charge your phone. Not too bad. Back out in the front now. I know, right? So, like, the theater we were just in was kind of like weirdly in the back. The main hallways for everything is up in these front parts. So, we're gonna go walk up one of these uh, main hallways now. Check that out. The building we... itself is pretty big. It really is. This like entryway is just so big. Wow. So much glass on the floor. It's a lot. Wow. I love the lights. I love the power. I love this hallway. I love the blinking lights. Back rooms. Even the side doors are boarded. Everything's boarded. There's another place you get some snacks before the movie. Or during the movie. Another concession area. How much was it? Did you know what say? Six, seven, and eight. Eh, that makes sense. They overcharge just like crazy. <laughs> they can charge whatever they want in movie theaters. It's nuts. This thing over here says cinnamon sticks. I always sneak in snacks when I was young. <laughs> yeah, bring your water, bring your candy in the bag. I guess this was another popcorn machine. More fountain drinks. <laughs> and that was seven years ago, well, over seven years ago, so imagine how much they charge now. Probably a like lot more. We haven't been in the movies in a minute. Let me turn on the light for this room. It's getting dark. Probably just a closet. Storage thing. Safety center. Here's some popcorn, like 
like singular popcorn machines, right? Or is that like cotton candy? Uh, popcorn. Does it say on it? It says Ringmaster. I don't know. You guys tell me. Popcorn and cotton candy. We are not experts on this. <laughs> Definitely don't know. A typical fax machine. Nothing crazy. Turn this light back off. I hear something. Oh, water. There's so water runs. in here? That's insane. That's what insane. the hell? <laughs> water still runs. I can see why Sony was living here. Yeah. He got water, full working bathroom probably. I bet you were in the toilet. That's insane. Flush. Yeah, right. <laughs> we're gonna have to try it. Let's go look over here. At this uh, theater first, the one we just passed by. Take a look at this one. Let's see if the seats are in here at all. Yeah, that's a huge job. Let me left. turn this. Oh, that's nasty. Lovely. I love that. Thanks. Oh, there's some movie posters on this one. Benji. Oh. Huh. Let's take a look. African. Benji, off the leash. It stinks in this one. It does smell in this yeah, one. Yeah. Good place to a Jack, what is that, Jack Black? Jack. What's on the other side of this? Ah! I'm trying to do this in my... Oh, that's the same movie. Jack Black. African cats. African cats. <laughs> Goodbye, African cats. Sorry. How have they been up there? Oh, yeah. It's probably just sitting up there. War horse. A lot of these movies say Christmas on. Oh, this theater is pretty clean. Happy holidays. And yeah, this one? Oh. Wow, the whole screen is here. Yeah. Seats are all here. Seats, yeah, are all here. So what movie? Shall Lots of we dust. <laughs> yeah, we got options apparently. There's dust everywhere. Look. Look at this. Dust. Nasty. I don't know why, but a lot of people are so obsessed with dust. They're always like, "Where's the dust? It. Where's the dust?" Like, we're not, like sorry, not, we didn't exactly. zoom in. Here we're, you go. If we're standing like a couple <laughs> of feet away. You're not going to see the dust. Yeah. And that came from like like the ceiling type stuff yeah. and things like that because dust comes from human cells. If there's no people, sometimes there isn't as much dust as you'd think. You can, he system. You can hear it. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised this one's got the full, full thing. Yeah, this one's cool. Yeah, I like this one. This one's probably one of the cleanest ones. Yeah. Just insane to see the different, like different amounts of um, damage each one has. Yeah. It's true. I guess there's only one way in and out of this one. This just goes up. Or down. These theaters don't have emergency exits, huh? Oh, no, this one's there. Yeah. If y'all wanted to know where that goes, I'll go see. But I think it goes to like a, the door to the outside and it's just like hidden behind the screen. Lots of dust here. You can see it all. Back rooms. It <laughs> really like sounds room like sound. it. It is. Sinks. It's weird. Thermometer. What is it saying? About 40. 40 About almost, yeah. 50-ish. Almost 50. Yep, there's... That's what it is. All the way down there. And there's the door to the outside. So, now we know. Very nice. We'll have to take a picture in this one, because this one's like the nicest one. After we're done filming, we'll set up our tripod and whatnot. 
That's weird. Look, there's like one nice. Oh no, that's a cushion. I was gonna say like, what's with this chair? <laughs> Definitely like an extra cushion. You got like what looks like almost like animals forming nests with fluff. Cool. All right, let's head out of this one. They probably closed around the holiday seven years ago. Yeah. Showcase cinemas. So before we go back this way, let's take a look through these double doors. See what's going on on this end. I want to go in the bathroom now and see if it flushes the toilet. I'm just curious, like, I want to know. Should turn off this lighting. We don't need it yet. Back to natural lighting. It smells like horse. <laughs> Click that. So I guess it depends on the... So maybe not. It depends where the... Well, it depends if they're damaged or not. Yeah, the pipes. Okay. Bathroom with flickering lights. Now look, see? Oh, people be scrapping. You have to be going for... Yeah. Wires. That's a shame. You see how big this light is. They ordered this thinking that it was going to be more like that. Yeah, and it ended up being massive, but it does the trick, so cheap Amazon one. Now, let me turn the light on for this, but... This smells so bad. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, definitely not working. Look at it. Somebody's oh, server cursing. Like Somebody, somebody's using it. Yeah, people be using it. Probably whoever was staying in here. So I guess this one, that answers our question. It's dependent on the section of the movie theater. If the water's going to work or not. That's why it smells so bad. We kept saying that. We're like, why does it smell like this? Yeah. They ripped out the carpet over here. I wonder why. I guess let's see if this one has seats. I turn the light back on because this one is dark. There we go. Alright, I like these dark hallways. Spooky. Smells kind of moldy in here. And this one. They ripped up all the cars, so they must have like started to do work at what like when they closed it probably and then just like gave up on the rest of them. Cause like this one's loud, yeah. Okay, so this is what we were talking about with gutted ones in here. Probably sold some of the chairs. Yeah, they probably took some of the chairs out. This gave us huge though. Yeah, you can see how massive this thing is. Some theaters were definitely bigger than others. So my theory is that this is one of those special Dolby sound ones. Because this screen is massive compared to the other ones and it's kind of yeah. like bent, like kinda of like Immersive. And it's more spacious for like those comfortable chairs. Yeah, definitely can put the better chairs. And over here, I think I see speakers. So this is probably those fancy speakers, the surround sound. JBL. JBL brand. Or what was the speakers were in here? Somebody probably robbed them or they took them out. It looks like they probably had a bunch and they were like oh, under here. Silver? I thought they were white. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah guys, look at the texture of this going it's up close. A special one. It's a very like it's got air. Maybe yeah. it's so that air with the okay, so like you know how like speakers blow air? Yeah. Like technically because a cone is moving back and forth, maybe it, it created a pressure behind this. And maybe they put these holes in like to like 
you know, help with the pressure so that it doesn't like actually move the screen. Again, I am not yeah, an know, expert. You guys know anything about this type of stuff. Yeah, the screens, like why is there the holes in it like that? And is it for that purpose that I was talking about or is it for something well, completely there different? Screen over this one? I don't think so though. Yeah, I don't know. Like the red carpet. I said carpet. Curtains. Curtains. Look <laughs> how big this thing is. There's like a stadium seating now yeah. without having anything in it. Cool. All right, let's keep moving. Let's look at that other hallway, see what's going on over there, and then we're gonna get to some good parts. We like the, the back rooms. Go see how it looks. These theaters, they go abandoned and then demolished. And someone would buy the property itself. We've been to like four that were demolished. So that's probably what's gonna happen with this one. And they can't reuse it. The structure, like, what are they gonna do with it? You know, there's nothing to convert it to. Close to much to make another theater here. You know, the only thing I could possibly think of them repurposing it for is making it into a school and having them, you know, like the big, like, lecture halls? They can turn all these into lecture halls, but that's still so, like, it's just way too much work. All right. All right. Back this way. Okay, let's check out this side. Like the panels. Or whatever. Yeah, this was all taken apart. Scrappers, I yeah. guess. Taking wire. Everything they can take, they'll take. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to try this one? I guess so. All right. Let's see. Light on. There we go. Oh, this one's more scrapped. And smaller than the one we just came from. It's kind of kind of big still. Yeah. So I guess just kids like. We're just ripping off this, because like, what else would cause somebody to want to rip off the, uh... I don't know, they probably, um, did it to get behind it. That's cool, the speakers you can see are up, are yeah. up, like, on top on this one. And they're gutted. Rather than, like, on the bottom. There's so much, like, trash. Snacks. <laughs> Why did I think that was a frozen meat for So many so candy, candy wrappers all over. Despicable me. Let's see up here. These are pretty dusty. Now, when you go to the movies, do you sit in the front? I was just about to ask. Do you that. sit That's in funny. the back? We, we think alike. We're, That's too funny. We're, we're was, telepathically connected, me just and you. <laughs> I. Ooh, spider web. Where? Right here. I just kind of like. Oh. 
it's oh, attached to me. Long web. I don't know. I, I feel I always sat in the back as a kid. I didn't sit in the front because I hate like going like this and like having to like look from I always the front sat, and like. I always sat like in this section. In like the middle. Yeah. And then like, do you like like the end cap? No. Or like more like like dead center. Like I like probably right here. dead center or like a quarter and probably like right here. Yeah. Probably where I'm sat. <laughs> Cause nobody wants to sit next to people, so it'll probably be empty for like two more seats. Well, this is also the kind of theater where like you don't reserve your seats ahead of time. Like yeah. you know how like you when we sit, go to the other yeah. theater home, like it has like the food they bring to you at your seat, whatever. Yeah. You reserve those specific seats like and ahead that's of pretty, time. That's pretty. That's pretty new. A few years yeah. old now. Yeah. Like this is like how it used to be. Yeah, back then you could pick whatever seat you wanted. It reminds me of my own movie theater. If anybody remembers Comac Cinemas, it's gone. It was demolished. That was like mm. the most epic movie theater. Ooh, a quarter. Where I grew up. I see a quarter. I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> Look at the mold. That's insane. It's definitely seen by the days. Even the railing, like if you look at the railing, I was supposed to grab it and I'm like, yeah, no. It's nasty. It's got like mold on it. Yeah. What does? No, I think it's mold. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Another concession area. This one's more destroyed. Doesn't have a sign on it anymore. Don't have the same opens. They got a microwave over here in this one. Yeah. Those are those microwaves that heat it up in like a second. Wow. It's long. Somebody like really like ripped that thing hmm. off. Probably, Probably like either. the same size. Yeah, like the other side where you just look at the amount of damage these people do to try to get wires or get into this room. It's insane. It's Ruining it. Wow, look at these. What are these sinks? Water fountain. Oh, Ooh, we got a little bit of water. Here it is. <laughs> it's like barely, barely going. Show that one. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. <laughs> what was this sink used for? Probably for mops and stuff? Probably utility. Yeah, that's for mops and stuff. No, this is where a little dwarfs will take a shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a dwarf <Yeah>. shower. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty big. Here's another theater. Go look in there. See what this one's like. Intact or destroyed? Let's see. What do you guys think this one's gonna look like? Trash or decent? So hit or miss. Let's see. I don't know. We got no, no, no carpets. Carpet. It's ripped it's out. A bad sign. <laughs> it's definitely a bad sign. That's so weird that they just took out like half of them and then stopped. Yeah. Oh, this one's another destroyed one. Wow. Yeah. Gutted and empty. This is insane. And another ripped screen. See the speakers back there, those aren't um, gutted. See them? They're sitting up there. Oh, it's pretty dark. Let's see if we can get closer. There you go. Wow. On the inside, it's like a dark, like gray, like on the inner side of the, of the screen, and then yeah. the outside's the white. I really want to know about that now. That looks door. opened. Let me see. That might be, that might be the one that we had before. Yeah, you can just push this one open. It's just... And skedaddle. Nice. Alright. So, it's definitely a very hit or miss with all these different theaters. Yeah. Now, one thing. One thing we did not see was an entrance for anyone professional to come in here so like 
like workers it's you mean? fully boarded like, yeah if there were any workers yeah there is no way like, really no one's coming in here but people that are damaging a place and people are trying people like us that are trying to document the place exactly there's definitely not like a work door or anything yeah. like that everything's boarded but that emergency exit it can't open that from the outside see prime example yeah I like the stairwell. Please no sample. So you were right before with this machine thing. This is that's way. Yeah, a ticket machine. It's a crime to copy any film using a recording device in a movie theater. Violators are subject to arrest. Okay. Who has been arrested for bootlegging a movie I've seen in a somebody, movie theater? I've seen somebody bootlegging a movie. I, I've seen it too. Like I've never seen somebody get like arrested though. Imagine like being in your seat and you're like, you're coming with yeah. me. <laughs> this would light up and uh, you know, advertise candy. Oh, I have real candy in it. Huh? Please are not place any items in the stairwell. <sighs> Just all the thingies. Yeah, storage space. Put it somewhere. Staircase is so dusty. Now it's dark back here, so the thing you got your light on. This is where the movie will. This is where the projector will be shooting the movie out through this window. It is dusty in here. Like, look oh, at this, man. like... What is that? Oh, program control. Speed control, run, all... So maybe had... Um, well, you guys tell us, of course. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess has something with rewinding the ta the Probably. spools and stuff. Something like that. Maybe. Digital... Oh, Walt well, Disney Studios. Digital cinema naming conventions. Huh. So was that to be able to read and figure out which movie is which spool of film? Probably. Kind of. Let's go through here. More film. This stuff is everywhere. There's so much. Wow. Hold on, let's close it. Yeah, let's come through and look. Oh, in this room. Oh, look how, oh my god, I'm getting stuck on it. Can't tell what movie it is, though. I know, right? It's bothering me. I want to know. This is showing, like, some scary face. It's somebody talking. Oh, and you can see, like, the subtitle on it. I haven't been feeling well. That's what it says right here. Somebody, like, got stuck into the ceiling here. Yeah. It's weird. I'm still attached. Let's see what's over here. There's a movie poster or banner here. Morning Glory? November 12th. Morning 2010. Says. Uh, Morning Glory movie. Yeah. Wouldn't be a movie PG out of the yeah. It's definitely not a type of movie. It's kind of boring. Here's all the candy, um, 
know, gummy candy. bears, what peppermint patties. Uh, I guess like if you get ice cream or yeah. you know, you need um, candy containers. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's cool. One. Reese's peanut butter cups. So we just fish. I like these things. That's weird. What they like? They let you just buy your. It might be like the seltzer candy bag where you like, you know, you like take what you want by weight. I never seen that. Their own little snack packs. Yeah, exactly. These are like pre-packaged stuff. What's this thing? Says manual auto shut off with like. Oh, uh, maybe it'll Oh, spin. spool. Definitely put a. It's like, look, ready? Maybe like this, right? So, like, yeah. is that like. Like, what do like. Yeah. Right? And then it would do something? This, this is like people in a car, maybe? Yeah. Like they're getting their hand out of a car. Yeah, it must have had something to do with it. Maybe it went through here and then like fed through this. Yep. And did, ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did something like that. I would love if somebody knew. Let us know, because I definitely don't know. This is some more carpet. Okay, there's ink cartridges on the floor, CDs, like random, like probably for the computers that ran everything. Is that a paw print or it's a sneaker print? I think it's a footprint, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be kicking the door. Yeah, the rats, huh? Yeah, they definitely nice. a pest problem. I haven't seen a rat on any of these traps, though. God, I'd be sad. Poor little guys. This is just an office a little bit. Yeah, an office. This is the regular desk. Gloves, safety glasses, reflective vests. Yeah. These are vendors. Like a safety section, like yeah. safety office. This is vendors and information. Huh. Yeah, I guess it's one of their many offices. This is a hairstylist? hairstylist business card. Here. I love this one. This is back rooms. Posters until the project done. <laughs> well, there's the missing things. things from downstairs. So they did have ice cream. That's what probably like all those toppings were for. And this is. Yo, Yugen? Not that. What is this? Yugen Fruz. What is that? Probably Waffle yogurt. Bone? Probably frozen is, yogurt. Oh, yeah, Yogen Fruz. So it's a frozen yogurt company. Does anybody know this company? Bottled water. Now this one says bottled water was two fifty. Downstairs it was four fifty. Cotton people. Hmm. These are probably older. A milkshake, twenty five cents. Now, now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's here. On. Ice, ice junkies. Frozen treats. A lot of these things. What is this spout for? Is this for like milk? milk. Yeah, non fat milk. Hmm. Maybe there are ice cream machines? Something like that? Yeah, maybe. Huh. I can't believe this place has power. No. Just a cool mixture. Weird. I think it's really loud over here because it's important. Yeah. Let's see, you know what? Yeah, speaker system. Yeah. 
That's where the sound's coming from. Oh. Oh, the dust is getting to me. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it sounds pretty loud over here. Yeah. Look at this thing. Auto, Auto wine. wine three. So that's for like what well, same thing, like the film yeah. probably went through here and they were unwinding and winding. One of the ones with the with the seats still yeah. in it. Let me change my camera back real quick. Okay. Anything in here? It says, please keep this room tidy. Nothing. That would have been cool if their uniforms are still. I yeah. know, right? That would have been cool. Now, is this in a, pro is this in a projector? I think so. That's where, like, maybe the real thing would go and it's been. It's like frame. It says, don't touch because of, like, moving parts. Projector window. Can't even see down there. Yeah. It's pretty dark. Really, like anything they could do with this machinery, they, they took it out. Yep. Like, rolling on the floor and stuff, like. It's pretty yeah. creepy up here. How nasty that is. Motion sensor. Some old TVs. Number one. Stinks in here. Copy machine. There's a bunch of garbage on the floor. Yeah, that's probably why it stinks. What is this thing? It's like a car charger and then it's like some like So that's her taking a phone call? Like, it has like yeah, a phone call button. Like it. Maybe it's like an old Bluetooth device. Mm. Way down. Some more film. There's another office or something. Utility room. More high voltage stuff. That's probably 
this room. Really? Oh, there's mold all over this room. Ceiling Probably glass. water damage. Yeah. Look at that mold. Good thing the airflow in here is pretty good. For a safe and s clean theater, patrol times are established by the manager at the start of each shift. So it shows like different people's names on different days. 2001, it's saying. So these are old. So I guess this is like what you would come to work and they would tell you which yeah. theater you're working on and like at what time. It's a lot of trash in this one. The mold. It's kind of like, you know, destroyed like. Mold radio. Little key. Probably a little safe key. Yeah. Got a lot of CDs. I see like a weird coin in this drawer. It's for a fun place, right? I found it. Yeah. <laughs> J. Geese. Fun center. There's like the most random stuff in here. There's like a mouse and like some like sunglasses. Yeah. It's just typical. Jump. Smash laptop. Yeah. Or half of the laptop. The other house is right here. Oh. VHS. <laughs> CC2, that doesn't help Probably us. Really and here it just has like weekly performance schedules, time management, more of these safe things, and look how disgusting that, that is. That's mm. a slurpy it? cup. What's this? It says Deadpool 2. <laughs> Session contender. It's like fifty dollars. Oh, well, for an award for being a good worker, maybe. Yeah. The Beatles. <laughs> this room is pretty messy. It's pretty yeah. disgusting. There's another little part down that little. Hallway. It's a staircase. It's like, I think that's the last part of in here that we need to see. Let's go take a look. I think it's just the way to get to the other side of the bathroom part. This little hallway. I like it. Ceiling tiles are really definitely taking water damage from bubbling yeah. and nasty and gross. More stairs. And more projector windows into theaters. Pretty dark. And these are probably Maybe more projectors? Yeah. They're all just kind of stored in a line, huh? That's cool. Interesting. These are really big. That did something. I don't know what that did, but. Huh. A lot of machinery in here. Uh, is that a computer? Yeah, that's a smash up computer. Cleaners, please do not touch any of the booth equipment. There's not a movie poster for the banner under there. Can't tell what movie there. Projection booth safety center. So I guess there goes a little movie poster. Robin Hood. I remember this. <laughs> when I was a kid, these things were popular as hell. This bunny. Stickers. Dragons. Yeah. And a horse. Postcard. This has like evacuation procedure, booth supervisor maintenance schedule, typical work stuff that they need to put on the wall. Got some more buzzing coming from here. What is that lockout? Oh, a stink bug. It says do not operate equipment lockout. So, like, what would this thing be for then? 
Oh, not now. Anybody that worked at a movie theater. Hey, got some more buzzing coming from another transforming machine. Got an old phone. Like every turn you make, there's different buzzing sounds. That's coming from the speaker. Cleaning supplies, storage room. Motion sensor? No, oh, yeah. It's like, a, um, I don't know what that is. It's probably to clean the carpet. Looks like another exit. Light bulb and fixture storage room. Locked. Somebody try to get to it. This is just the other end. This says paper supplies and storage rooms. And it's just like the clock on papers. Pretty moldy in here too. Hey, well, you smell it. Napkins, paper, prime paper bags, feminine products, ice lids. So yeah. all over the walls like what they had. Oh. Why does it smell like really different? It's probably the mold. And then another final theater. Oh, this is the big empty one. Nice. Oh. Well, Real busy. There's no glasses in it, yeah. Surprised we didn't find any of those. Yeah. We usually find those. Yeah. In our other video of that movie theater we went to, we found them. Whole thing, like full yeah. of them. Whole bin full of three D glasses. So I guess, uh, I guess that is it. So yeah. we're gonna go downstairs, and we'll meet you there in a second. massive movie theater we thought it was really cool because of the power the elements yeah. the eeriness the, the creepiness decay. lots and lots of decay some movie theaters had everything like this some didn't a little mixture of everything perfect for us yeah and uh of course make sure to check out our pictures on urbex vibes real zek and oxidize 93 we took some really cool ones here and of course make sure to subscribe and like if you haven't already for more exploration videos, and we'll see you on our next one.